motherboard! Yeah. 
This here robbery's gonna be one for the record books. Supposed to back my lollipop, huh? Because I can't find her. You got any idea how stressful that is? It's making me itch. I can't even scratch because it's under my armor. So, somebody better find those lollipops and get them to me fast. I need pronto because I'm not happy. And well, I not might have to retire after this one. Understand? I don't want nobody getting near my gold. I don't like people touching it and using their dirty fingerprints all over it. It's all over again. And I don't even want to think about someone stealing it. That's what you're being. So painful! And remember, if it's painful to me... down here and take your whooping like a man, Sheriff! Oh, blast you! Tennessee Kid Cooper! I'm gonna lock you in the deepest, darkest hole! And I'm going to throw away the key! Give it up, Toothpick! The fat lady is sung and you are done! Oh, am I? Hey. My gun! No! <laughs> Thanks, kid! Lou Paradox sends his regards! Adios, Egypt! Relax, pal. I'll take care of this. It's all over, Cooper! Break out the jailbird costume, fly! Watch those lasers, fly! Why does everyone use lasers? It's too bad you can't Let's shoot see as well how as you can like my bang, bang, boom, dynamite. Can't stay in one place. You gotta keep the bounce, right? Ah, hey. Need to focus. Oh. Dodge this wrecking ball. Fly, watch out for those whirlwinds! No way to jump these twisters. We'll have to avoid them. Get him, Fly! Oh, you snot nose to begin! 
Just took care of that, Bentley. No, Sly, the train is headed for a broken bridge. I'm guessing that wasn't part of the plan. Sly, you have to get off that train. Jump to the van. Murray, hit the brakes. They're not working, and I can't shut down the rockets. What? You idiots. You call this a plan? Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. I knew I should have had you send me back to Paris. Oh, I can't believe it's going to end like this. What in tarnation are they doing? How 
was just wondering where that golden got to. Bentley! Sorry, Murray. This has to work. Hey, that's my necklace. Here goes nothing. As the van hurtled into the ravine, it felt like we were in slow motion. The thought that our adventures were over flashed through my mind as I braced for the crash. Then, in desperation, Bentley grabbed the closest thing at hand, Murray's Australian fossil necklace, and used it in the time machine. He saved our lives! But now, we had no idea where we were headed. We held on as the van was sucked through the wormhole, tumbling around like a cork in the ocean. Who knew where we'd land? And more importantly, when? Things weren't going very well. We'd landed somewhere, from the looks of it, prehistoric. I was slightly concerned when Bentley broke out the dinosaur repellent, but that was the least of my worries. The crash landing had damaged the van, so the time machine wasn't working properly. Not only was traveling back to Paris impossible, but we couldn't even raise Dimitri on the transceiver. Also, we still had no idea how Le Paradox had managed to develop his own time machine. And that was a scary thought. Carmelita was still really hot about things. I just wanted a chance to explain, to tell her how sorry I was for getting her mixed up in all of this. Before we had a chance to talk, she stormed off in a rage. I tried going after her, but I figured that wasn't the best idea. Our conversation would have to wait, at least until she holstered that pistol. We decided the first order of business was figuring out where and when we were. And then, how we were going to repair the van. Otherwise, we'd have to get used to living in a cave, permanently.